What up, grinders and granddads? This shit got a black abstract. You're locked in once again, and I appreciate you motherfuckers for it. Listen, do me a favor before we get started. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell for your boy. I'm trying to get up there, man. And I can't do it. I only can do it with you. So, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe. So, let's get into it. Apparently, Joe Button is in the news yet again. Um, this time, it ain't for... Uh, his beef with his co-host or his former co-host Rory and Maul. This time he has beef with a, uh, I guess a personality that was on a podcast that was on his station, on his channel. Uh, yes, it says podcast host Olivia Dope addresses her departure from the Joe Button Network uh, discussing sexual, sexual remarks Button made to her on air. She felt created a hostile work environment. Uh, so if you don't know, she's on the podcast. See, the thing is, uh, that's the podcast that randomly pops up on his channel and it's a females hosting. Yeah. You probably wondering like, what the hell? Or you probably saw it and probably was like, it's trash because it is trash. Um, it stars, uh, I don't even know the fucking names. It don't even matter. But, uh, she said, um, in the video she shared on Instagram, which is like 26 minutes long, which I'm not playing. Um, she explained that Button's behavior towards her was the reason she left the podcast. She said, I'm doing this video today to finally explain my departure from See The Thing Is podcast, as well as the Joe Button Network. She said, I sat with this for three months, anxiously debating with myself if I feel comfortable enough to express my reasoning for my departure. She said, I'm here today, still uncomfortable, but I find a bravery to speak out on a very embarrassing situation. She continued. On January 18, 2021, uh, Button sat in a recording of the Female League podcast I was part of and continuously made sexual suggestive remarks to me, and that made me extremely uncomfortable, as well as fearful of uh, dampening the mood if I didn't laugh along while he made those sexual remarks to me. Those moments not only live on the internet forever, it also forced me into the decision of quitting the podcast. Uh, let's play a clip. On air hug from Olivia. Yes. Y'all yes. oh. <laughs> y'all need to talk more. Come on, I network. Love this. Look at this. Look at this family. Oh. Look at this family affair. Oh. Look at this family affair. Oh. Look at this family affair. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph, uh, can we get a game over sound effect? Yeah, uh, game might be over for Joe, man. Joe, what are you doing, dude? Wait. I mean, it's hard. If you watch other clips of this particular episode, it's hard to kind of uh, not notice the cringeworthy awkwardness that was actually in this episode, man. And uh, listen, man, I try to ride, for, you know, I try to look at things from both sides and both angles, but, um, you know, it was it was moments where she looked clearly um invisibly uncomfortable. Ah, uh, I just hope that um I don't know. I don't know if it's more to the story. I don't know if it, was he eventually like did he have some kind of relationship with this girl and it went sour and I uh, I mean, uh, how I'm looking at it from face value, I'm looking at it as what she's saying. Um it, it's it, it is kind of um it's kind of convenient that she spoke up at the time, you know, when he's going through this situation with Rory and Maul. Maybe that's what gave her the confidence to speak out about it, seeing as though how they were speaking out about it. Uh, and now I'm seeing old clips of uh, all the weird shit they used to say in a podcast. You know, this is how guys talk, man. Guy, listen, this is how guys talk on like the fucking the shit they were saying about the dog. We say a lot more fucked up shit when we together. That, I'm sorry. That's how guys talk. As far as the situation with Olivia Dope, um, yeah, extremely um, inappropriate and unprofessional. Uh, just being as somebody who's, uh, I guess, her boss, you could say, or somebody that gave her the opportunity. Um, yeah, you don't really want to kind of make those kind of remarks. Um, I guess some, some remarks got edited out. Uh, like I said, you got to take this at face value. Because she is coming out and making a statement. It don't seem that she want anything uh, in return. I guess she's just trying to make awareness. 
Uh, we all know Joe was a little creepy. Um, yeah, he, he, you know, he, he got a little creepy vibe to him. But dude, this is this ain't looking good. Uh, just coming off the situation with Rory and Maul, and now this, and uh, you know, I hope the I hope the the sister finds uh, I hope she finds her peace. I hope this is therapeutic for her that she got it off her chest. And uh, you know, I don't advocate for anybody getting uh, harassed, um, especially in the workplace. You know, I believe you should be professional at all times. You never you never uh, shit where you eat at. And uh, you'd think Joe would know better. Um, Kevin Hart actually spoke on Joe Button as well. His leadership skills uh, for the fact that he outed his boys, uh, which I thought was very, very, um, thought that was very interesting. I don't know if you guys heard the audio of that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I was I was surprised to hear Kevin even speak about this. But um, he said he was rooting for Joe. Uh, just trying to find a network and um, he just didn't he just didn't go agree with uh, how he handled outing him which I said in my video prior I did say that too uh, can we get some booing sound effects for Joe button yeah uh, I'm sorry Joe man you, actually I'm not sorry you get everything you asked for like one Twitter user said Joe isn't happy until Everything around him is engulfed in flames and he's drowning in a pool while he's doing it. He just he just seems to just fuck his whole shit up for some reason. He just gets a kick out of this. When everything is going right, he just I don't know. He's just not you know what it is, man? It's like people are scared of success, man. That's what I it's a lot of people around me that's like that. Um I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. But post your comments below. Let me know what you think about the situation. You think this is uh, some propaganda made up bullshit? Do you think this sister honestly has a valid argument? Uh, I want to know what you think, man. Is it over for Joe Budden? Is it something he could bounce back from? Let me know. Be let me know below. Uh, post your comments and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.